and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my very own handcrafted, if you will, spring palette, some pastels. I've seen a lot of very spring-like palettes come out in the last few weeks, month, whatever. Um, it's It's been maybe two months now. Everyone has been in prep for spring and there's so many palettes coming out and you know I'm on a no-buy. A lot of people are on a no-buy. All the craziness that's going on in the world right now is all the reason in the world not to buy things right now. So I decided to shop my own stash, create my own perfect spring palette, if you will. And um, while it may not be perfect, I, I'm very happy with it. And um, it's kind of my take on what a palette should be, which is not a bunch of neutrals with this a few pops of color. There are pretty much... Um, no true neutrals in here, which is what I like. I like a lot of color, but um, yeah, I wanted to keep it spring vibe. I've got tons of swatches here on my hand. That gives you an idea of what we're gonna show you here for a second. I should say arms, not hands. And um, I'm gonna go through all of them. They are in this palette right here, this magnetic palette. This is my own personal spring palette. There are 28 shades of pastel-ish gorgeousness and um, I'm gonna go through them with you. I um, I opted for time to go ahead and swatch ahead of time so you know you can just get right into it. I did keep some I don't want to say neutral but I did keep some um, like universal shades in here that um, I think it's always helpful to have like this first shade. I'm going to go from here over and then down, kind of the way you would read a book. So every single shade in here, except for one, is Coastal Scents Hot Pots. This is the only one that is not a Coastal Scents Hot Pot, and we'll get to that one when we get to it. So starting with this first one right here on my arm, you can see it's the top one closest to my knuckles. This is Cloud White. It is just a basic matte white. Always good to have if you are, um, you know, wanting your colors to pop a little bit more. You can always put a matte white down and then your color on top of it and it will make it a little bit more vibrant. So I thought that was an important one to have in here. The next one is one that I love to use. This is called White Silver bring this a little bit closer so you can see the entire palette all right um this one is white silver that is the second one right there moving on to nope that is not white silver i lied to you i lied to you i did not mean to i was looking at my spreadsheet wrong this one is vanilla sky this one is white silver this one is vanilla sky and it is a, um, it's like just a vanilla shimmer. I mean, it sounds just like what it is. All right, the next one, we're getting into the yellows. I absolutely love my yellows. This one is called Sunbeam. And it is, I mean, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous yellow. And hopefully you can see right there, it's the third one down. Yeah, I do like my yellows. Um, moving on to pink silver right here. It is, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's kind of like a warm pink with like a silver undertone to it. And moving on to this one right here, I'm going to switch. It's just hard to hold once we get over here. This shade right here is called Coral Blossom. And I'm just, I'm going to just go through them and let you know what they are. All right. Another one that I've absolutely loved. I've actually panned one of these and I, um, got this one for Christmas. It was on my Christmas list. This is peach puff. It is just a matte peach color. And the last one in this line is dreamsicle. All right. Going to the second row, this one this one is white silver. This one here is Canary Diamond. This really beautiful bright yellow is called just that, bright yellow. Keeping it simple. One of the rare ones that you will see, it is, it's, 
kind of blue, kind of purple. I call it a blurple. Um, this is Icelandic. It is very metallic and I'm getting it all over. Not that one's not metallic. I'm sorry. The one coming up is metallic. Um, it is, is more like a matte. This one right here. So it is, it's blurple. That's, that's my, uh, my name for it. This one right here, if you have the Winterberry palette, you have this one. It's Tullian Pink. Moving over to Fancy Pansy, which is like a very fun shade to play with. And this last one is Island Coral. So the first two rows are what I have on this arm. First row into the second row. I kind of like it. All right, we get a little bit more color in rows three and four. Starting over here, we have Orange Crush, Peachy Keen. One of these, I've already panned one of these in, um, this was in my Pan That Palette last year in one of the um, Coastal Scents quads. This is Siesta Sands. So I, I panned a small one of that one. Moving on here to Limeade. This gorgeous, oh, nope, I lied. Again, I'm I'm lying to you guys. This is Celadon Green, and this one is Limeade. All right, this is the one that is one of my absolute favorites. I just, oh, I just love it. This one is called Ice Ballet. It is like a light lavender color, metallic, and it is, bam, metallic. If you, if you like pack it on or you put it on wet, it, like you will glisten to the moon. Um, let me see if I can find it on my arm because it's backwards for me. It's this one right here. And I just did like a simple swatch, but if you do it wet, oh my goodness. Um, all right, and the very last one in that row, Neon Bright Pink, and it is bright. All right, let's get on to the last row. This one right here is called Aurora Orange. It's a nice red orange color. It kind of reminds me of like blood oranges, like that blood orange color. Mm, I love it. Um, then we have Paris Green right here. Moving over to Sea Quest. This one is called Blue Hawaiian, which you can see it's not super blue. It is, it's kind of like that teal turquoise kind of color. And this lone guy right here is the only one in this entire palette that is not Coastal Scents Hot Pot. And this is from the Depotted Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is the shade Jada. And um, it actually swatched a lot darker than I thought it would. That is this one right here. All right, and the last two. This one is just like what it looks like. Lavender and magenta. This one is a matte and this one is not. So that is um, my no neutrals that I don't really want anyway because I already have them in spades palette for the spring. Flip it upside down for you because of the ease of use. Um, I'm kind of happy with this. If I wasn't panning so many eyeshadows already in projects right now, I probably would take this palette and use it for a couple of weeks because I really, I like the color combinations with these and um, I, could, I could do some damage with that. So that is my idea of the perfect spring palette for this year. Of course, I could do this again in two or three weeks and my opinions would probably change. You know, we, we all go through these cycles of what we're in the mood for and what we're not in the mood for. And I, this is just what I was feeling lately. So um, that is my current spring palette and I challenge all of you guys to shop your stash and create your own perfect spring palette whether it's a bunch of singles or um, the potted shadows if you pick and choose some out of palettes that you already own um, if you post it on Instagram tag me please tag me um, hashtag spring palette 2020 I'm going to put mine on my Instagram as well, but um, I wanted to put it on here to encourage you guys to shop your stash. <clears throat> tons and tons of stuff coming out. Um, I don't know if the production is going to start slowing down with 
um, all that's going on in the world, if they're still gonna keep cranking out the, um, the new palettes and new releases and everything, if the emails that I'm getting bombarded with are any indication, they're probably going to keep going. But, um, uh, yeah, the world has changed right now. So, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> Always with the water. <clears throat> Gotta love allergy season. But, um, yeah, I strongly encourage you guys to not pay attention to those ads. Get into your collection. Really get to know your collection while you're stuck in house. And, um... Discover things that you forgot you had and play around with them. Come up with your own combinations and create your own palette. Maybe it will make you happy in um, these gloomier times, which it shouldn't be gloomy because right out that door or out that window, it's not a door, Jess, it's a window. Um, <clears throat> it's springtime and it is a gorgeous spring day today and my kids are outside playing in it. And this, this makes me think of spring and flowers that are getting ready to pop out. So shop your stash. I am going to wrap this up because it is my oldest son's eighth birthday today, which when you guys watch it, it will be yesterday, but you know what I mean? He's out there watching some Godzilla and dinosaur videos on YouTube, like Chromecasted onto our big TV and he's having a blast, but I'm going to go make some dinner. Then we're going to watch some angry birds too and have some popcorn and just generally celebrate his birthday. So, all right, do your palettes and um, again, tag me if you do it on Instagram. Let me know if you make a video of your own spring palette. And if you do it on Instagram, hashtag spring palette 2020. I would love to see what you guys think is the perfect spring palette. Okay, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.